Welcome to my channel, Main Street Orlando. My name is Josie, and today we're here at Disney's Epcot for the first day of the Festival of the Arts to check out the latest Disney merch. Let's go. First stop is the Creation Shop, of course. You all already know, the start of a new festival, new festival merchandise. Let's check it out. So this is the first piece and this is a brand new brand to the parks. I don't know if you guys remember, we went to D23 shopping spree event. They introduced Lug and this is the backpack for the 2024 Epcot International Festival of the Arts. It has lots of embroidery here with the rainbow, the Epcot symbol and figment right over here. It's like a patch. Figment. It's like a patch. Yeah. And look, Disney Parks Lug. Now I have and I'm currently using the little mermaid or like a mermaid a mermaid one for lug and i wear it on a daily basis and it's very comfortable it has a lot of pockets so let's see the inside print i haven't seen inside print yet oh look it has like world showcase musical notes paint brush pencils so anyhow it does have a lot of compartments on the inside this one is called the hopper shorty so like park hopper you get it and it has pockets it's very um comfy that i can tell you because this has padding on the back and this here doesn't like slide off your shoulders so it's a good backpack yeah it's like a rubber material there and this is 90 dollars this is the figment plushie for the festival and i really like it it's like he's popping out of the framed canvas isn't that fun it is 25 dollars and look at his little dragon body this is the limited release figment munchling and he is a fig claire figment let me show you the top side look at his little wings isn't that cute now he does smell he smells, I think, like a figment, right? Maybe, or like a, no, it's not like a figment, like a fig, like a fig. But he smells really good, let me tell you. Emil's trying to smell him. You smell him, Emil? Yeah, he's like grapes. Like grapes? Maybe, and this is $20. So yes, Mr. Emil is here with us today. And next we have this corksicle water bottle. And look at the art. I love that they use the color orange too. Yeah, I love the color scheme. And here he is again with his little paintbrush. And it is $55. A ceramic, I'm going to guess, color pencil holder for $25. And this is the other side. It's really nice. I adore the mug and I'll show you why in a sec. So of course, the figment design here, as you can tell, it has like little art icons around him which i love and i love the font that they use but wait let me show you the best part of this mug the dripped paint i love that and this mug is 20 dollars. the t-shirt here is 35 dollars. look at figment lying on his side and it has a paintbrush a pencil and a musical note A limited release pin and it features figment with spaceship earth in the background and I don't know if you can tell the rainbow surrounding it has sparkle and it is $18 this one here is the limited edition pin and look at this it opens up make every day a work of art and it's nice and sparkly $20 this limited release pin features a Mickey Mouse okay this is a little twist instead of figment it's Mickey Mouse and the uh, paint palette there has kind of like a woody effect and it is $18 we got a figment keychain for $15 and it is double-sided this is the strong orange color on the other side I love it for $25 this is the ornament and I love that he's just kind of floating in between the frame don't you love that? I love how detailed these are. The pass holder pin here. I love this feature. It actually features World Showcase, so the different pavilions, and it is a limited edition pin for $20. This is this year's spirit jersey. So you can see the print in the background has World Showcase with some like art icons there. But wait, look. So of course the puffy print, the Festival of the Arts logo, and it's figment in between the frame, the picture frame, the art frame. And then look, there's a double figment because when you turn them around, 
there he is again with his paintbrush and it says make every day a work of art in that extreme puffy print and it's $80. For $40 we got this top with figment and the frame here is nice and sparkly as well as the 2024. For $30, we got a dark purple hat with that embroidered figment on there. And then when you turn it around, it has the Festival of the Arts logo. For pass holders, we got the tie-dye t-shirt. It looks just like the pin design with all of the pavilions. Yeah, and him with his paintbrush. It is $40 and on the sleeve here, it does say pass holder. Right now we are headed over to the Odyssey behind us. We're gonna go and see if we can find that small lug figment crossbody we saw at D23. Cause we didn't see it at the creation shop. It must be a popular item. Yeah, and this is the first time you can see lug in the park. Right, cause we did, they were featured over in Run Disney. Run they did Disney. bags and stuff like that. But for Disney parks, I think it's the first, it's the first time. time. Yeah, so I love the merch. I mean, I, I love that it's just like, I, I love. Like, I really like the combination of colors. They the combination of those colors. Time. The purple, it's, the yeah. orange, the yellows. I like that. So let me know in the comments what you think about this year's Festival of the Arts merchandise. Already seeing some Skittles advertisements. Savor the flavor of imagination. It's a grape smoothie with freeze-dried Skittles, bite-sized candies. And then look, we have the rainbow cake with the Skittles. Inside the Odyssey, it's Figment's inspiration station. For every festival, they decorate the Odyssey and this is how it's decorated. I was expecting though, art and some of the merchandise here at the Odyssey, but I guess not. So anyhow, over here is where you also pick up your Figment popcorn bucket. There they are. There are the popcorn buckets. And yes, they are light up and ML and I are I don't think we're gonna get the popcorn bucket this time. But anyhow, it's $30 and you mobile order it and you pick it up here. There are really cool photo opportunities right now and I'm gonna try this one. So you stand here, you pose for your picture, very nice. begun and they have so much art now here at world showcase disney fine art by collector's edition let's see what we see so you will find the art has the artist's name on it the price and also the name of the art piece mr ml this is not angry donald but you cannot say this isn't adorable i mean it's called duck duck piece for four thousand four hundred dollars by dom corona Mr. ML here really likes Sorcerer Mickey. You like Sorcerer Mickey. This is the Festival Passport and it's going on from January 12th to February 19th. So it's not like a super long festival, but it's a very fun one. And then look, so here it tells you, let's see, some of the merchandise which we've looked over, the on Disney on Broadway concert series, and then of course, all of the food you can find throughout World Showcase and Epcot. And what's fun is that they have activities in the back. Isn't that fun? I've never seen that. And then back here, they got wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. So you have to get those menu items, get the stamp, and then you get a festival treat near the port of entry featuring, featuring Pandora jewelry. Okay, that's marketing. You guys know we love Thomas Kincaid Studios. Let's check it out. They have new limited edition art. This one is called Disney Ursula. Okay, let's just go one by one. So we have Prince Eric and Max right over here. We have the castle. We have Scuttle. There she is with my mind, my mind went blank. Flounder, Flounder. We got Flotsam and Jetsam. And then over here, there she is. There's Ursula with her contract there. Poor unfortunate soul is poor Triton, Daddy Triton, and of course, Sebastian. 
I love this piece as a lover of Little Mermaid. And it says here it is $1,280 and an 18 by 27. They have daily no, artist signing. So right now, Zach Kincaid is signing January 12th to the 21st. They do have a schedule. I'll link down below the schedule so you can take a look. It's various artists, by the way. This is the piece we got last time when they were over in Disney Springs. And this is the frame piece. I love it. Another piece for the Queen of Hearts. It's called Disney Queen of Hearts. And just look. I love the colors. Look at the queen there. You can see the spark. The spark. Oh my gosh, she has glitter. Do you guys Here see also. that with Alice? She has a sparkle on her dress. I love that. And all throughout the piece. And then hold on. Cheshire Cat. Look at him. His smile has sparkles too. Oh, the tea party. Isn't this fun? Oh, the blue caterpillar. I love this. I love this piece. Let me just back up so you can see it as a whole. And this is $3,920. They have a Star Wars 10 and this is a new piece. It is called, okay. There we go, The Mandalorian. This is the way it is $1,280. And of course, it features Mando, you know, when he's doing his um, Mandalorian ritual. And then there over here is Grogu and Bogotan Chris. Okay, this one, this one, I love. I love. And you could get the wrap canvases. They're 10 by 14s for $89. They got Grogu pieces. They really do got Grogu pieces. This is my first time seeing these pieces. And uh, let me tell you, I love them so much. Okay, they got here with um, Ahsoka Tano. Okay, I love, with Boba Fett. Oh, that's cool. And then over here, oh, yes. I like this one. This is from Boba Fett. And from the original trilogy, they got one here from the Deuba system. Look, with Yoda right there, Master Yoda, Luke, and R2-D2. This is a nice piece. This is a nice piece. The ad ads at Hoth. Okay. I love this one with Princess Leia. Help us, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You are our only hope. Another new piece is the Mickey and Minnie in San Francisco with the glitter all throughout the piece. Yeah, look at Daisy and Donald. How adorable are they? I love this Chip and Dale. Look at him up there. Yeah, this is pretty. And oh, where's the price? Okay, it's a limited edition, 18 by 27, $2,595. Dirk Wonderlich is also signing. Like I said, the schedule is down below. The food booth for the Canada Pavilion looks amazing. Gourmet landscapes. I did see this poster over in the passport, the festival passport. It is an art piece by Maria Stuckey. You can purchase the poster. I'm gonna check out to see, oh, it's called The Future Began in 1982. I'm gonna see how much it costs, but I love it. They are $40 and they seem to be maybe a limited edition of 200. We're here at the Encanto Cocina Vibrante and Vivido. And uh, it's authentic Colombian cuisine inspired by the animated film Encanto. And we're gonna try the chorizo and potato empanada for $6.75 with turmeric aioli and anato aioli. They also have the passion fruit filled mango cheesecake. Passion fruit in Spanish, maracuya. maracuya. My mom used to make maracuya juice every time we ate our dinner. So brings back memories. Love the theming and decoration of the booth. Here is the empanada. And I'll do not drop it. Came by the lake to try the empanada and look, what is going on here? Very cool. And I'll just cut it in half to show you the inside, but the typical Colombian empanadas don't look like this, but I've noticed one thing at Epcot, right ML? At Epcot, the, or the festivals here in Epcot are inspired, inspired. are inspired by cuisines around the world, but it is not precise or exact, if you know what I mean. And okay, that looks good. Are you enjoying it, Mr. ML? Give it a rating, one to 10. One to 10. Yes. Seven. A seven. You can definitely taste the potato in that, which I love. And also the chorizo is ground and it does have a little kick to it. So a little bit of spice. It's really good. It's really good. Now 
it's time for the Disney Gallery Artist booth. I really like this one. It's called Sacred Path by Daniel Killen. It's an LE95 for $229 and it's Pocahontas. Wanna Build a Snowman by Darren Wilson, LE95. Oh, just look at that frame and it is $399. Hello, Sleeping Beauty. This one is Once Upon a Dream by Alex May Mayer? Mayer. And it is LE95, $399. By the same artist, $399. It's who, who stick, sticks, sticks, who sticks? Maybe because they're holding sticks, but it's so cute. Mr. ML found something he really likes. Okay, there's a lot of reflection here, but it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Look at Star Lord and Groot, Rocket, and ML has his shirt, you know, from the Guardians of the Galaxy. But anyhow, it is Guardians United, Bill Robinson, LE95, 249, and then look at this. Look at this. This is a four Star Wars. It's called May the Force Be With You by Bill Robinson, LE95, $249. For my Remy fans, anyone can cook, $249. Emil. Oh, this was nice too. Motunui, Punky Aloha is the artist's name, LE95, $229. A little close up there. It says here, Punky Aloha is the illustration studio of Char. I can't pronounce your last name, Char. I'm so sorry. A Tongan illustrator born and raised in Hawaii. I think it's Tui Asoa. This one is beautiful. By in It's Enchanted and this is by Joey Chu. I'm sure you guys already recognize this name because he has done an artist collection or collaboration with Disney with merchandise. And it says is a Los Angeles based children's book illustrator and visual development artist for TV animations. That's cool. Oh wait, it says he worked for projects such as It's a Small World at Tokyo Disneyland. Look at the rest, they're cleaning. That's cute. Shine, Tamatoa, also by Punky Aloha, 229. I saw this from far and fell in love. It's called Define Dancing by Morgan Dita. It is LE95, $229. I gasped when I saw this. It's Tarzan. Oh. Two Worlds by Steve Thompson, LE95, $399. Mr. Emo like pointed this out real fast. Oh my gosh, guys! The cantina scene from, oh my gosh, look at the alien band from A New Hope. I love this. It's Moss Eisley Cantina. And it is Sm Smuggler's Bargain by Joelle Payne, LE95, $400. There's a bug on my back. There's a bug on my back. I felt something like this and I thought it was Emma going like this. And I was like, okay. And it was a spider. A spider. Spi you know, last time I came to the Festival of the Arts, I also had a bug right here. And okay. the girl thought it was a piercing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It so what's. It's, it's just my luck. Anyhow, this is the artist. Check out the posters by Dave Perillo. If you like Disney Princess, they definitely have Disney Princess pieces like this Snow White one by Ashley Taylor, 399, called Everkind. And by the way, this is Ashley Taylor. And then over here, be the hero of your story. I love Rapunzel. This one is also by Ashley Taylor, our favorite chapter, $399, LE95 for Beauty and the Beast. Look at this, Intergalactic Elegance by Dylan Bonner, LE95, $399, and it's Padme Amidala. It's a beautiful piece. They have the framed piece for $399, and then up here, look at this, Evil Opulence. It's the Evil Queen for $399. They've got the mini prints for $15, so these are the deluxe prints, mini prints, postcard set, postcards, and look. Oh, that's cute. Okay, this is insane for the star wars fans i mean come on so these pieces are the helmets and you can see the reflection of the characters they're looking at they're 495 dollars in the eyes in the eyes what no way okay and then these look very realistic 
They look like movie posters. Oh, it looks like a movie right? poster. That's really cool. Awakening of a Jedi, making a Jedi. Okay, this is the artist by Ignacio RC. Huh. Okay, this one is $395. This definitely looks like one of those posters, right? That you would buy as a fan? Okay, the detail. This here is $45 and just look how large it is. They have so much to see here, guys. We have, They have so much to see. This is a really cool print. It's called For the Republic. And, and I forgot the artist's name. Hold on, turn it around. For the Republic by Joe Hogan and it's $50. This has to be one of my favorites. Until Our Last Breath by Christoph ba Baker. It is $45 and look, it's Princess Leia. The art here at the booth, a Scooter, and oh my gosh, I saw this from far and this looks precious with Vicky and Minnie and it is this one for example is called a perfect day for $350 this one here is called so this is love and the one in black and white love in Walt Disney's enchanted tiki room this one is gorgeous with Beauty and the Beast the colors and over here is Mickey and Minnie again Maleficent If you haven't seen our last video where we visit the world of Disney at Disney Springs for the huge Disney Parks merch drop, you can check it out right up here or the one prior to that where we go to the Disney Character Warehouse, the Disney Parks Outlet Store right down here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I cannot wait to see you guys again very soon. Bye!